time. Hey, Photoshop. So, I did it. You told your father? Yeah. And how'd it go? I told him I want to move out. And he agreed? No, but he didn't object either. So, there's still some chance? Well, it's just been the both of us ever since my mom passed away. So, if I move out, he'll be alone at home. Maybe I shouldn't move out after all. Or maybe he just needs some time to get used to the idea. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be okay eventually. True. I just got to be patient. But I can't wait for us to become roommates. Okay, I'm gonna grab breakfast. Morning, ma'am. Ma'am, your phone. Oh, uh... Thanks, Latika. Ma'am, what are you looking for? My keys. You mean the ones in your hand? Then what's wrong? Thinking about work. Mira, off to work? Yeah. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. Uh, I just want to tell you that I don't think I can meet you for lunch today. That's fine. Okay. Uh, you you want to lift? Uh, no. I could run office errands. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right then. See you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Everything all right? From work. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Sorry for coming over last minute. It's just that Faisal has been asking for his Abang Sulaiman. Ah, don't apologize. You can drop by any time. Hmm? Right, Fatima. <laughs> no, since Hassan's caregiver is with him and then Faisal has been asking for his Abang, I thought I'd just bring them over. How is Hassan? Better, mm. stronger, but it's not easy. Yeah, I understand. But if you need anything, just let us know. Yeah? Okay, thank you. I've got the ball with me. Suleiman, <laughs> he's been asking for you, so do visit if you have the time. Uh, I can't promise because it's been quite hectic in school. Okay, Faisal, you've been wanting to learn how to do the elastico, right? So what say we practice downstairs? Yes. Okay. I also want to follow. You also? Okay, come, let's go both of you. Let's go. Thank you. Don't run too far. Hi, Mira. Vivian. Hi. Hello. Actually, I'm not staying long. I'm just waiting for my takeaway. I'll wait with you. So, how are things between you and the husband? Is he still jealous? No, everything is fine. We had dinner last night, three of us. The jealous husband versus the boss. So, who won? It's not like that. <laughs> I just wanted Pascal to know that Joel and I had nothing to hide. That's very smart of you. Is it? Actually, there's something I want to ask your opinion. But I appreciate if you keep it yourself. Of course, my lips are. Um, Joel thinks that... He thinks we both have chemistry. Tell me more. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Assalam. Hey. Ma, do we have to go home already? Yeah, Ma. We have so much fun. Well, we don't have to leave yet, but soon. Uh, Chit Salma already made something for you to eat, but go and wash up first. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Go. Thank you, Sulaiman. Welcome. Oh my god, am I dreaming? What? I think I'm really dreaming. Somebody's doing his homework. Hey, even your dreams, you're still so sarcastic, you know? Amir, do you need help? No. <laughs> so confident, ah? Can get full marks, is it? Sulaiman, I'm sure he knows his work. But if we can make it better, why not, right? Yeah, listen to teacher.
What about you? Do you feel that you have chemistry with him? Of course not. I mean, we work well together. He's witty, playful, a little flirtatious at times, but he's like that with everyone. Oh, this is so awkward. What am I going to do? How am I going to work with him? Face him every day? Darling, it happens to the best of us. I used to work for this guy and he was charming and sweet. The attraction was mutual. At first, it was after office drinks, then business trips together. Uh, Vivian, this is not the same situation. If you say so. Anyway, it was a pity that he was married. It was really good until we got found out. You mean his wife found out? The whole company found out. We didn't know there was a CCTV in the photocopying room. Hey, Gina. Hey, did you get Felicia's message? Yep. I wonder what she wants. Yeah, I wonder what's so important that she couldn't tell us over the phone. Suzanne, hmm? should we say something? Like, maybe tell her that we didn't exactly ask her to move in with us? Um, you know, I did think about saying something to her, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. You know what, maybe we don't have to do anything. Maybe it won't work out with her dad, right? Maybe. Oh, I think that's her. Hi, Suzanne. Hi. Hi, Uncle. Bye, you remember Suzanne? Yes. Come in, come in, Uncle. Isn't this place very nice? Uncle, let me show you the kitchen. I think you'll like it very much. The kitchen is very safe. <laughs> Oi, explain. My dad wanted to see the place before he decides. Well, you could have at least warned us beforehand. Uh, I didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> Felicia, can't you see that your father is still really sore about me and Chris? Like you said, you just need some time. Once I move in, I'm sure you'll be fine with it. Then there was the affair with the CFO. Got fired then too. Again. Mm. Yes, so you know the moral of the story. Uh, don't have affairs at the workplace? No, don't get found out. Thanks for the tip, but... I'm not having any affair. Not now, not the future. What makes you so sure about what the future holds, Mira? Of course I'm sure. Because I'm a married woman and there's no way I would contemplate an affair. If you're so sure, then why are we even having this conversation? I guess we just have to wait and see what your father says. CCTV on every floor and the neighbourhood police post is just around the corner. So rest assured, Uncle, that this is a very, very safe neighbourhood. Hmm, safe is good. But why is this place so messy? Your friend, eh? Not so tidy, huh? Uh, we're just a little bit busy with work lately. And we usually do the clean-up over the weekends. So, yeah. Ba, so how do you find this place? Can I move in? Let me think about it. Show me your dog system. Sure. This is very safe. Uh, it's imported from Korea. Korea. And it recognizes only our fingerprints. Come. What is it that you want to tell me? Why must I talk here? Is it about Hassan? No, it's about Amir. I think he's dyslexic. Dyslexic? I just saw his homework. He mixes up his letters, punctuation, and his spelling is all wrong. That's why it takes a long time to do his homework. Possible. It's hard for him to process what he reads. I always thought it's because he doesn't like doing homework. Well, he could be unmotivated because he can't understand instructions. I think you should get him checked. 
I will. Thank you, Adhika, for telling. There's no way I'm attracted to Joel. But why not? You said that he's witty and playful. Because I'm a married woman. Mira, do you think that wedding ring is some sort of affair kryptonite? Vivian, I made a promise. A vow to Bhaskar when we got married. And I am sure you meant to keep that promise. But Mira, how long have you been married? 30 years? Yeah, more or less. He must be bored out of your skull by now. I'm not. <laughs> Mira, look me in the eye and tell me that you don't wonder what it's like not to be married. Well... It happens at times, but it's a natural thing, isn't it? Exactly. It's natural and it's very human. Vivian, we can't just give in to our insists like that. I did. I still do. And is that working for you? Bah, this place is really convenient. There's a supermarket nearby, 24 hours coffee shop, four clinics, two ATMs and many eateries. Our place is more convenient. But my friends are here. But they are not your family. Bah, you know I love you, but I need my own life, my own space. I can give you space. Bah, it's not the same. You take such good care of me. I need to know what it's like to stand on my own two feet. Ah, it's not permanent. It's just for a while. Let me try, please. Um, Felicia, your phone is ringing. Thanks. You, wait. I want to talk to you. So, yet another of my marriages has bitten the dust. My kids won't talk to me. I'm all alone. I'm starting over again. So who am I to give you advice? Vivian, we are complete polar opposites. I've had only one man in my life. And I've had so many. I've lost count. But you're happy? I don't know. But this is the way I am. It's the way I was programmed. Vivian, you can surely change. Maybe. I don't know. It's too much hard work. Maybe you don't want it enough. Maybe. Lyra. Only you know what's right for yourself. All I know is, when you're attracted to someone, there's usually a reason for it. And you owe it to yourself to figure out what that is. Ah, yeah, so, eh? Where is Kat Norlina? Oh, she's working. Why aren't you working? I am working. My job is to study now, like you two. Abang, can I ask you something? Sure. Who is Pak Kasim and Chit Leha? When I asked Papa, he scolded me. They are my foster parents. What are foster parents? They took care of me when I was young and when my real parents couldn't. Like parents of Superman? Exactly. Why Papa couldn't take care of you? Because he was in prison. Fatima, Faisal, go get your things. You're leaving soon. Okay, come. I have you. Huh? Why did you tell them that their father was in prison? They asked me why I was raised by my foster parents and not him. But they're too young to handle such information. You should know better. <laughs> it's the truth. And what do you expect me to say? Lie that he went on a long holiday in Upper Changi? No, nobody's asking you to lie. I was going to tell them when they're older. It's not your decision. Fatima, Faiza! Thank 
Dua, tiga. Ya. Man, you and your big mouth. You should say sorry to Atika. I stand by what I said. He is an ex-convict. So? Atika's their mother. She should be the one to tell them about Hassan's past. Not you. Come on, it's not like some big secret. And what makes you think that the children will find out from other people? Uncle, I'm really sorry for all the hurt that Chris and I caused. We made really stupid mistakes. We were immature and selfish. And I really regret everything that I've done to Felicia. Felicia is a good person. She's forgiving and kind. I promise that I'll make sure nobody takes advantage of her. I brought you a little something. Oh. A cake. Sweets for my sweet. I'm not just sweet. <laughs> Relax, Mira. I mean, you know the song, right? Uh, sweets for my sweet, sugar for my honey. It's a really old song. Oh, my goodness, now I'm revealing my age. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Mira, it's just a cake. You made me dinner last night. This is the least that I could do. <laughs> no. Latika prepared it. And it was dinner with me and my husband. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. Bye. Okay, Mariani said Amir's teacher already told her about his struggle in school. But that boy is so stubborn. He refused to be tested for dyslexia. Are you sure he's dyslexic or not? That's what Atika thinks. <laughs> that Atika has a lot of opinions. But she may not always be right. Mira, do you want to pass some of your cases to me? It's fine. I can manage. I know that you can manage, but I was hoping to help you finish them sooner so you can attend to whatever it is that's bothering you. What is troubling you? I thought we'd managed to resolve your husband's concerns about me. I actually thought we got on quite well last night. So what's the problem now? What's the problem now? You told me last night that we have chemistry. Why did you do that? Because it's the truth. I don't see why we should be coy about it. Atika is a teacher. I'm sure she comes across a lot of these dyslexia cases. Yeah, she's a teacher, but she's not an expert. People these days love to self-diagnose. I think this army boy just hates to study. End of story, full stop. If he's really dyslexic, it can affect his studies, his self-esteem, his future. Now, if this happened to Rian, would you behave the same way? Ma, Ami's problems are beyond just dyslexia. It's not so easy to fix. That's why we have to try. But you're not his ma, and he's not your son. How much can you do? Thanks so much for coming, Uncle. Yeah, bye, Uncle. Bye, Felicia. Uh, later, we go and buy bed sheets. Bed sheets? Yes, and get some boxes for you to put your things in. <sighs> Thanks, Ma. Welcome, Rumi. <laughs> this is so exciting. I can't wait. We should celebrate. Don't be too havoc. You want to stay here? You must follow my rules. Rules? Yes. Number one, no men after 10 p.m. Number two, phone home every night. And number three... Wow, you're embarrassing me. And you, your boyfriend better not disturb my girl, or I will never let him off. And... Pa, I'm quite hungry. Let's go get something to eat. Do you want some? 
No, thanks. Joel, I don't know what you're thinking, but I will not cheat on my husband. I didn't think you would. I'm happily married. Yeah, I can see that. Look, Bhaskar and I may have our problems, but I will not throw away 30 years of marriage for an affair. Yeah, Mira, I understand. Yeah, I wouldn't do anything either if I was in your shoes. Good. I just want to make things clear. <laughs> Mira, you're a smart, beautiful woman. And as much as I'm attracted to you, I'm not about to throw caution to the wind and suggest we have an affair. Even though I think we'd make a great pair. Joel, <laughs> please. Stop saying such things. I just want to be upfront and honest with you. I don't think it's wise considering we work closely together. Why should it affect our working relationship? We are grown-ups. You can handle this, right? Pack your bags, cause we've got things to do tonight, tonight, we drive. What do you go to school for? Mommy, what's wrong? No, everybody knows I have dyslexia. Your teachers should know so that they can help you. No, I don't need their help. I don't need anyone's help. Okay, Ami. Now I cannot target it. Ami, listen to me, okay? No, You're... I'm not going to listen to you anymore. They're making me go for a test. Everyone's saying that I can't read, I can't write. They're all laughing at me. You happy now? What's happening, yeah?